Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel, Simply Cinnamon, and if you're new here, welcome. Uh, today I am going to show you the ultimate DIY on my brush cleaning technique. I, you know, when I started building my collection of brushes about a year ago, I started with, you know, a few, and they were just drugstore brushes. Since then I've, you know, picked up some MAC brushes, Sigma brushes, Morphe brushes. I still still like, um, I do still like some drugstore brushes. Real techniques for me, I, I just love them. Um, so I built my, up my collection. I probably have 50 or 60 brushes. Last week, let me find it. Last week I did a demo on this little beauty here. It's called Shade Switch and how it works, you know, going in between brushes at, when you're applying makeup to clean off your brushes to get the residual powder off. So like little cylinder or thing like this. Um, but this certainly does not substitute for actually giving your brushes a good scrubbing. Um, I try and do my brushes once a month, but sometimes that doesn't happen. Maybe what I will go every six weeks, uh, sometimes every two months. I do, when I do clean my brushes, um, I'll mark it on the calendar, like today I clean my brushes. Uh, but we can always, we can always feel when they're needing a good scrub. They feel, they'll start to feel rough. They won't apply shadow as nicely as they, you know, do when they're clean. Um, this eyeshadow look I have on actually today is residual eyeshadow from yesterday. And I wanted to film this video today and I was like, you know, I'm not really in the mood to like do a whole, you know, eyeshadow look just to film a video. So I quick use what it was ever left on my brushes and clearly you can see, you know, they need to be clean bad. So I know that you can go out and you can buy you know, a hot glue gun, and you do the plastic thing, the beads and everything like that, or you can go and buy from Ulta or Sephora or anywhere online and buy a mat to clean. But to me, do-it-yourself is really means do-it-yourself. Find something at home that you can, you know, finagle and, and work and do it yourself. So what I use, and I know it's odd to some people, but um, a candy dish. That was my mother's. God rest her soul. Love you, mama. Um, you know, it's got some raised indents in it and some grooves. It's glass, so, you know, I don't ever have to worry about, you know, bacteria, anything like that. I can wash it, spray it with alcohol, that kind of thing. It's perfectly good. So what I suggest to anybody watching this video is go around your house. Plast uh, plastic for cleaning brushes to me, I'd rather use glass um, because plastic is more, it's porous, you know, and it can hold stuff in it. So I prefer something that's glass. You know, this has worked really well for me. So, but you know, plastic, if you want to use plastic, use plastic. You know, I'm no, I'm no guru by any means on this subject, but for me, glass is, works best. Um, go around your house, find something with a raised surface on it that's got indents, that's got grooves. Everybody's got something at home. You don't have this, obviously, because this was my mother's, but everybody's got something that they can use at home that is going to have a raised surface on it, that's going to have grooves, that's going to have indents. Wash it down real good, spray it with alcohol, let it dry, and use it. Now, the solution that I use is antibacterial dish soap, but you could, you could use hand soap, but to me, dish soap is just better and olive oil and the measurements are two to one ratio so i usually make like a bigger batch so i'll use two half cups of dish soap which is a cup and a half of a cup of olive oil so it's two to one if you're making a smaller batch it's two tablespoons of soap one tablespoon of olive oil so you know you can make a big batch store it now I make, I, you know, uh, this is my big batch, you know, that I made, but you know, in the kitchen, I just have like a little, a little, a little guy here and I'll pour it into like a ramekin and I'll dip my brush and you'll see when we get out there, I'll dip my brush in it and you know, it works perfectly fine. And then I just have a tray that I've had laying around. So, you know, I don't have to like carry them in my hand. I'll just sit them on the tray and, um, you know, that's it. So let's get into the kitchen. Let's get cleaning these brushes. I'm not going to do all of the brushes on camera. Like I said, there are so many. I'm just going to do some big ones and some little ones. I'll show you how I hang, hang them to dry. And, um, you know, 
my husband's going to be filming. Thank you, honey. Let's see if we can get him to not be so camera shy and uh, be a little more camera friendly than my last video when he filmed. Um, so we're going to switch into the kitchen and I'm going to show you how I clean my brushes. Okay, everybody. So we're here in my kitchen. And so what I do is, are you, honey, are you filming the dish? Yes, baby girl. I'm filming the dish. <laughs> okay. The nice, beautiful, heart-shaped dish. <laughs> All right, so what I do is I have the dish, I have it sitting in my sink. The harp shape dish. It's a harp. It's a harp shape. It's a harp. All right, so here are all my brushes. Holy brushes, Batman. <laughs> Shut up, right. All right, so we got a lot of brushes here. Like I said, I am not going to clean all these on camera. Shoo! <laughs> um, I'm only going to do a few, and um, because Brian is hungry and he wants a Wawa Hopi. So, yeah, I'm not the only one there. Yes, you're right. I want one too. There's turkey and swish. <laughs> turkey and swish. So, let's start with the big brush. And what I do is first, I'm going to move this just a little. And what you want to do is the water does not want to be super hot, all right? But it doesn't, you don't want cold either. You want it kind of just in between. Um, you're going to wet your brush. I try as hard as I can not to get the handle wet because, you know, if that will make like the glue get super loose but sometimes you can't help it so what I'll do is I'll just go over it with like warm water all right and then I take my brush and here's the little dish and I just dip the top of it in there shut the water off and then I'll take it and I swirl it around my dish and look at that look at all that crap coming out of there I mean, like, hello. This is the brush I use from to bronze with. Because I don't really use a powder. The only powder I use on my face is a bronzer. I don't use, um, like, a pow like an actual fa foundation powder. I'm, I don't like to put all that crap on my face. So, and to check to see how we're doing is you actually go like this a little bit. And there's still soap inside, so I'm going to keep going around in a circle and I, I looked on the calendar and because I do mark on the calendar I looked on the calendar it wasn't as long as I thought I did I did these about six or seven weeks ago and I have been using that shade switch to um, kind of clean in between so the most important thing is to just make sure that you're getting all the soap out because when they dry, you don't want the soap left in there because then your product's just going to stick to the soap and it's like, then what's the point, you know? So, I mean, you can really see the color of the brushes, you know, and I bang it on my hand like this. And I have a clean towel right here and I'm just going to lay it on the towel and then we're going to go onto this brush that I use for my blush. Again, just wetting it, kind of squeezing out excess, dip into my solution. And it doesn't look like it's dirty, right? Watch what happens as I get, get deep down in there. And this how it this is also how you know it's clean. There's no more soaps coming out. No more anything's coming out. I take it, squeeze off the excess. And bang it against my hand. That makes the bristles go back to the shape that they're supposed to be in. And move on. I'm gonna do one more big one, and then I'm gonna do a small one, just a couple small ones. So again,
Better not be filming on my boobs. Nope. <laughs> boobs are for me. <laughs> All right. There we go. Get up under the water there a little bit. All right. And squeeze it. Alright, and I'm gonna do here these one, I'll do two two small ones so you guys can see. And as you can see, they are super they're wait do you see what color the, the brushes really are. You're gonna be like, oh my gosh. Alright, so wet this brush. This is a Morphe brush. It's um their goat hair brush. The reason you want to use olive oil in your solution is because um, it helps keep your brushes, I can't talk, your brushes like soft. It keeps them from getting like brittle and hard. And as long as you go by the two to one ratio that I talked about earlier, two cups of, or two, two parts soap to one part olive oil your brushes are not going to get like oily or gunked up or anything like that you think oh olive oil but no it's it won't it won't i go around this little part right here a couple times hello look at the color of that white <laughs> So that's how we know how dirty that brush was. I'm going to be so excited this week when I go to do my makeup that it's going to go on so much better. All right. I'm going to do one more on camera. You guys get the general idea here. I'm going to set it so bad anyway. Okay. And then we'll do this guy. Can you tell I like using like warm shades here? Around around she goes. I might double duty this one, do it one more time. I was actually, you know, started thinking about doing a, um, a business, a brush cleaning business. I'm like, this, this is just such a pain in the ass job and nobody likes cleaning brushes. I'm like, hmm, I could start my own business doing brush cleaning. Pick up drop off service, charge a dollar a brush, you know, or whatever. Man, I think that would be something that would really go go off, but then I'm like, is that what I want to do for the rest of, rest of my life? Brush cleaning? I don't think so. Alright. So, look at that. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. Alright, so I'm going to show you, I'm going to pause this video for one second, and I'm going to show you how I, I don't leave them dry like this. Um, you don't want to leave them dry um, like this because you want them hanging off a surface so that they keep their shape. So I'm going to show you the little way that I, that I do it, but you know, I still have a lot to go. If I did all these on camera, we'll be here till next Wednesday. So here we go. We're going to pause the video. I'm going to show you how I do this. Are we rolling? We're rolling. All right. So I take that same towel. Once I'm done all my brushes, I, I put them and they're sitting on the towel. I will collect them, put them back on the tray, but for purposes of this video, I didn't do that. So I take that same towel, I open it all the way up, all right, bang it against my hand a little bit. I'm in my dining room, this is, and I start at the end of my dining room table, just like this, and I will line up 
all my brushes. Whoops. See? See, that's what happens. But this is an old brush. It didn't, I didn't just get this brush. This brush is probably older than my brush collection that I started. Um, this brush is probably five or six years old. So I knew that that was going to happen. Um, so bang it against your hand. All right. And then just leave it sit off. And again, there are other things that you can buy. I did try and do a thing where I put rubber bands and put them in there. But that just, this just works best. You have the air circulating. So bang it against your hand. Get off excess water. Help it come back to its natural shape. Okay, and then just hang it off your table. I suggest doing it on a day that you're off, clearly. Um, and the next day, you know, well, I'll be home tomorrow. I don't, I'm not going to really be wearing any makeup or whatever. Because they need a good, that, to really, really, really be dry, they need a, at least a good, you know, four or five hours. I would say maybe even a little longer if they're a really denser brush. Um, but that's all I do. And bang against, like I said, bang against my hand. And I will line them all up along the table. And so that's it. We're going to head back. I'm going to finish off this um, video. I'm going to head back in my bedroom. And uh, we'll finish up in there. Okay, everybody, comedy hour's over. Um, you know, that brush, that <laughs> the head fell off. Pretty funny. Um, but I've had that brush. That was probably one of the very first brushes I ever bought um, years ago, you know, to put blush on. But besides that, um, that's how I clean my brushes. Uh, thanks, Brian. You're such a comedian. Um, warming up a little bit to being, you know, filming me. Um, so that's it, guys. That's how I clean my brushes. I still have a ton more to go. Um, but my man's hungry. He's got to eat. All right. So I'm sending you light. I'm sending you love. Be blessed. If you haven't already, subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching today, and I will catch you in my next video. Take care.